Hello, nerds. You're on with Happy Bandit, and this is Rift in Time. Now, um, the first thing I want to talk about saddens me. You've currently died two times. <sighs> I'm not pleased about either of these, but I did learn this. You can uh, you can click on click here for more info, and it shows everybody on the server. If I click on my name. Says I've died once by monsters and once by magic. Now this magic was my first death. I stumbled upon an evil craft dungeon. It was horrible. It was the worst thing ever. I was literally just sort of trying to. I was, I was kind of like, like the door to it was over here, and I was just sort of like trying to sneak in so I could see what it looked like, and something sucked me into the room, and then that was it. Like it, it didn't take long. And I was dead. Uh, the second time, um, poor Lord of the Great, uh, who lit, get, stand up. Okay, the smart movement is kind of cool, but it runs, there's some serious issues every once in a while. Like, I can't stand when I want to. Uh, she lives right over that direction. And uh, we may fly over there here in a second, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But um, she used to have this big pool of lava near her place. In the past, big pools of lava are handy because, uh, you know, lava. Great for all sorts of things. In this, they're the worst things ever. She kept having these monsters called Afrits spawn. And they shoot these fireballs that that are worse than regular fireballs. Um, and here, let me see if I can. Yeah, there's her house there. All of this right here used to be forest you can see all these little bear bear trees right here where they all burned up they it shot fireballs and everything was destroyed now i went over there bravely trying to help her put out all these fires and the the lava pool i think was somewhere in this range here i think i was trying to help put that out and one of these things spawned behind me and kept hitting me. And I didn't realize what was going on. And I died. And then I took a break for a while. And went and ate dinner. Because I was mad. Okay. So enough about that. Uh, let me show you some of the progress I've been making here. Uh, first thing, this right here. The Reservoir from Ender.io. Take a bucket. Take a bucket. It refills. Now I have all these buckets of water that I don't really need. Um, it refills one. You have to make these. You actually have to make the recipe twice because it has to be at least a two by two. And uh, then you put two buckets of water in it. And then it will refill one bucket's worth of water every one second. And so, see, look at this. I'm crawling for no reason. Anyway, so that's cool. That solves our no infinite water source problem. Uh, next. Let's see here. I made, it made a sag mill. Made an alloy smelter. Very cool. Using these chests to auto. Like, I'll throw stuff into there. And it... It goes into there and, and then goes out there. Hey, Doc's on. Yo, Doc. We got a pretty full house right now. We got five people on. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. I made a reactor uh, to power everything. It's pretty awesome. Uh, right now, I've actually got it off. So it doesn't use up fuel. Because I've still got uh, five million... RF's left, and I just turn it on and use a little bit more of the fuel, you know. Uh, I've got tons of, of the uh, Yellorium to power it, so power is not a problem. Uh, that's always one of my first, first goals is to uh, figure out a power solution, and I've done that. Okay, the next thing, right here, uh, these are from Evilcraft. Now, you may be saying, what are you doing? You're not evil. No, I'm not. But these things are really useful. Uh, 
to make anything, you got to have these dark gems, which you just mine from ore. Uh, and then you collect blood using this thing called the blood extractor. And then I use this dark tank to hold the blood that I collect, which you can see I've been collecting quite a bit of it. Um, every time I kill something, this automatically collects blood. And then I, I uh, put it into there. But this guy here, you have to take and infuse things with blood in order to do other things. I, I may get more into it later, but that's what that's for. This just makes the whole process a lot easier. Now, I did this to make this guy, the purifier. Because I made an enchanting table, and I had enchanted my, my helmet and chest plate, but the enchantment that it gave me was breaking. Breaking. Which is the opposite of unbreaking. So every time I would get hit, it would actually do extra damage to my armor. And I didn't want to use the armor up, I didn't want to lose the armor, so I had to get rid of it. And this purifier does that. You just take and you throw it in there. It uses a... I can't... Right up here. It uses a, a thousand of the blood or one bucket's worth. Uh, and then the other thing I got here is the blood chest. Greatest thing ever. Why am I... Why is my skin wrong? Okay. So you see how I've got a little bit of damage on my stuff there? We're going to throw it in there. It's going to use blood. What's it doing with that blood, you might ask? Oh, it's just repairing my stuff. Yep. Now, you do have to be careful because uh, it can put some of those bad uh, enchants on it, but that's why the purifier is there. So then I can just take and refill that real quick with some blood. So that's what I got going on there. And one other thing that I discovered recently... I got out here. This guy in the water here is called a fish trap from Growthcraft. And uh, it collects, it basically does it, it's like an automatic fisher. And it collects everything that you would normally get. So I'm, I'm getting name tags, saddles, you know, some of the junk. But eventually, I, uh, I hope I'll start getting some of the cool enchanted stuff and whatnot. So, uh, we are, we're looking forward to that. Uh, now, real quick, I made a chisel. Cause you see this little guy here? Uh, I've got my, my ore berries in here. And uh, it's, I was reading it, it's best if it's dark. So, I was like, okay, we'll do that. But I wanted to make a cool little doorway, so I made a chisel. Would you believe that uh, making a chisel is a uh, a quest so let's turn that in i'm gonna get blocks of gold because i can never have too much gold and we're gonna throw that in there throw that in there all right so that's cool i'm very happy to have that another thing i'm very happy about is remember how i talked about living over here with all these um vanilla flowers was going to be useful yeah, let me show you why. There are these things called blocklings. And they basically, when they start off, they look like tiny blocks of dirt. Well, you can... They have experience... Uh, it's almost night. I'm going to wait. Uh, they have experience and will level up. And you can increase them and make them bigger and stronger and... They can actually follow you around like a pet and protect you. The problem is when they start off, they're tiny and weak. And so um, you got to, you know, it's real easy for them to die. But uh, the, you tame them with vanilla flowers and you can also use the vanilla flowers to heal them. So as soon as it's night, I'm going to hop in bed here. Let's see if anybody else will... Jump in bed. I love the Morpheus mod. It's so great. Aha! Hopefully, I have edited out all of that waiting. But now it's day. 
And because this is rift in time, I can't just assume that there's nothing waiting out here to kill me. Or that there's not. I always assume there's something waiting out here to kill me. So, being here in the water, I get a lot of these, I don't even know what they're called. Like, like water monster spawn. Fly around. Hit me with balls of water. That somehow does damage. Okay. Looks clean. Now, back to the blocklings. Uh, cows. Cows are a great way to level up your blockings. Oh, int. Let's get rid of this guy. So, what I'm going to do is first breed all the cows. Because you got to breed your cows before you harvest them. Everybody knows this. Uh, come on, cows. Make with 11. Do -do -do. I don't know. Uh, I'm sure there's enough in there because it's it's going crazy. All right, now golden lassos. I mentioned this before. They're like the safari nets from Attack of the B Team, except they're only for passive mobs. But you can put your blockings in them for safekeeping. Now, what I'm going to do is put this guy down. And you'll see he's, he looks like a piece of stone. I've leveled him up a few times. Uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, he's level 4. He's got a health of 21. He does 11 damage. Now, well, where, where's... Where'd he go? Dang it. Let's make sure he is alive. He's ready to go. And then I punch a cow. And my block lane just tears him up. Look at this. Look at this. Get him, Blockling. Get him. So I'm going to do this real quick. And hopefully, hopefully he'll level up. Um, but I'd really like to show you what to do. But we'll be back in a second. Okay. So he is just almost ready to level up. So I'm going to hit a cow. You hear that? So now he's level five. Now what we're going to do is grab him because I've made the mistake of not doing this before. We're going to fly back over here. And we're going to pull up the old NEI. And type in broccoli. All right, so did wood. Did cobble, did stone. Time for iron. So I need five iron, four stone. Do I have four stone? I can make four stone real quick. Actually, I might... No, okay. I'm going to throw them in this alloy smelter real quick. The best thing about the alloy smelter, when, it's, uh, when you're just cooking something like this, it cooks three at a time. It's fantastic. All right, and then I need five, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, five iron, and we go plop, 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 plop. Basically, the way it works is whatever it is now goes in the corners, and then you make a cross of what it's going up to. So let us put this guy down, and oh, no, hold on. Yeah, uh, okay, set him down for a second. Look here. Click him up. So his health increased. Now he looks like a block of iron. We're going to feed him some some flowers. And then uh, he's ready to go. And so uh, I'm just going to keep doing that until he levels all the way up. So next will be lapis and then gold and then diamond and emerald and obsidian is, is level 10. So uh, that is awesome. You get these health upgrades too. Uh, I think you have to find those in chests and such. Um, speed. Now you can make um, ninja stars for it. And you can also give them swords. Uh, I'll have to look into what kind of swords. But uh, that'll be cool. All right. 
Let's knock out some quests, shall we? Uh, we are getting close to being done here with Ex Nihilo. All right. I have been sieving for like two days. And I think I've got everything that I need to finish this up. Gold or sand has a 3% drop rate. But we've got the four. Submit it. Claim it. Awesome. Platinum. Plat. Five? I thought it was two. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be doing this forever. Platinum has a 1% drop rate. I thought I was done. I'm so ticked at the moment. Uh, not at not at anybody in particular, just just myself. All right, well, man, I thought I was done sieving stuff for a while. Guess not. Well, we'll keep working on that. Uh, nether rack. We need to make four nether racks. So I need oh, one, two, three, four. Whoop. No, nope. four. And his bucket. Come over here. Give me that, got that, boom, there's one, two, three, four. All right. So let's turn this in. Man, I'm kind of annoyed. Just, I, I thought I was done with that. Oh, well. Uh, case of hives, an artificial hive. I think I haven't really looked at this just because I'm not really all that interested in bees, but okay. Hell Bay and silk mesh. Easy. Let us make one of these. Oops. Come over here. I don't need you in my in my face. Let's harvest a little bit here. That ought to be enough. Yep. Just just enough. All right. So we go hay bale. Um, artificial hive. Get a oh, reward bag. Awesome. Okay. Uh, dolls. Is that not the angry doll? Okay. Precious doll is what now? Precious. Doll. So I need five porcelain and diamond. Uh, where did I put my porcelain clay? I've got way too many chests. Um, the Emmy storage is going to be a must for me very soon so I will have to figure out that let's just make that real quick okay porcelain clay diamond pop 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 all right and then let's see let's just go doll can't be that many dolls angry doll blaze rods glowstone redstone nether ward nether ward is here four no two of those four of those and one of those 
Oh, oh, wait. Why no work? Why are you okay? I don't know. Let's see her there. There, 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 and there. Yep. All right. Let's hop into bed here real quick. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Come on now. All right. Now I'm pretty sure. Let me consult with my resident expert here real quick. I just put this in the stone barrel and then. Oh, uh, it was lava. Yeah, and then click it in. Yes, uh, you want to do that where you're pretty sure you don't want everything to catch on fire. There, be something there's alive. nothing on okay. fireable here. It's not going to be alive that long anyway. Yeah. Get a little breathing room. So now we wait. Oh, summoning. For seven, for eight, for nine, for thirty, for one, for two, for three, for four, for five, for six. Okay, well. Do, do, do. I'm sure I have skipped some of this by this point. Okay, here we go. And blaze. Dead. Alright. Ooh, blaze head. I'm gonna add this to my wall of heads. Alright, so. Let's put this dirt back. Okay. Awesome. A lot of work for something so easy, but. Grab that. Ah, blaze rods, cool. I I managed to get a blaze rod off of something already, but uh, I need to make is there a good grader. Uh, I need to make a uh, brewing stand at some point and do that. Okay, what do we else we got here? Uh, oh, pressure stall. I already made that. It seems like those should be reversed. But diamond helmet and another bag. We'll open these bags up here in just a bit. Um, let's see here. That guy, creepy doll. Creepy doll. Okay, I don't have any ink sacks right at the moment. I'll just do the creepy doll probably off camera because, you know, whatever. It's the Enderman. Y'all have seen me kill Enderman a billion times. Uh, so, there's that yeah making that intermen and then getting that stupid platinum dust is all i got left there so we're gonna we're gonna call that good for now uh real quick the uh the iron chests i've already done a little bit of it which is where i got some of these bags from uh diamond chest let's see there was a a gold to diamond upgrade or something that I made too. I forget exactly what it was. Uh, I guess I could look. Yeah, gold to diamond. Oh, okay, I made a gold chest. And then I made the gold to diamond chest. Now we need to make diamond chest. So. so iron chest. Uh, yeah, the new version, you just type in the mod you're looking for. You don't have to put the little at symbol. Diamond chest. Gotta have a gold chest, some glass, and uh, diamonds. Okay, well let me get some sand. Because I don't think I've got any glass. I don't think I've got anything in here. Oops. Okay, cook. Um... Two diamonds. I need that. And some wood to make a chest. Pop up. Chest. Surround it in gold, right? No. 
Ah, dang it. How do I make a gold chest? I gotta make an iron chest first? Okay. I tried to be organized. I really did. I've even got a, a little list here of stuff that I wanted to do on this episode. Shows you my, my determination to be organized this time, and I just failed you all. I'm sorry. Pop, pop, and then just in time. I say that, and then there we go. Okay. Well, bloop, bloop, bloop. Diamond chest. Let us turn that in real quick. Put that away. Got my diamonds back. Got another greater bag. Put you in there. Uh, what's next? I did that one. Obsidian chest, crystal chest, and then upgrades. So, make an obsidian chest. Make a crystal chest. Oops. Uh, there we go. Nope. Dang it. Okay. A uh, crystal chest is a diamond chest wrapped in glass. Obsidian chests, same thing. So I got to make another diamond chest. Uh, I will do that. Sea storm, birds of prey. Are are you done? Okay, and then uh, looks like the upgrades for those as well. Um, the Diamond to crystal, obsidian, and glass. And you know what? I can do that right now. Let's do, let's knock those out real quick. Seven, eight, nine. So I have a bunch of obsidian on me. So let's see here. We'll do that. And then throw in a piece of glass. So I will do these two off camera. And then the last one there must be make a dirt chest, which is just dirt surrounding a, a chest. It has like one item spot in it. It's pretty much worthless, but, you know, I guess they want us to collect the whole set. Can't blame them. Okay, let's see here. I just need, yeah, boom. Oh, I was like, why didn't it make the, why didn't it make the sound? Well, I got it. Oh, I don't have enough. All right, hold on. You go away. You get back in there. You. Get out of my life. You get out of my life. Um, you go back in there. Ugh. What? Okay, I, I must have gotten that off of that quest. Alright. You give me that. There we go. And then there. Pop. Made that. Awesome. Yeah, I'm really not concerned about lives. I've got plenty of hearts. I just don't want to eat them all because of... Excuse me. Because of this quest down here. Uh, you know what? Listen. I got... I got all the time in the world for this. Eight. Nine. Da, 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 da. So, wants us to make a golden apple. Easy. Golden apple. Golden apple. Uh, we'll pick an apple. All right. Gives us heart. Now it wants a notch apple. Bloom. Notch apple. No big deal. All day long. It does make me sad, though, that it's going to eat this thing. Manual submit. There it goes. 
but it gives me nine hearts. So, you know, I am... I'm good. But this guy right here, life insurance, 255 hearts. 255. Yeah. So I'm trying to save up these guys as much as possible for that. Uh, I, I think, and I'm not sure if these are repeatable or not, because it says gold farming. Um, I don't know. I'll have to check with... Uh, Mr. Halama on that. But, uh, yeah. So, let's see here. Let me take a quick look through here. We'll probably do more of this Tinker stuff on the next episode. Uh, I could probably do that now. That alley might block, but I'm not going to mess with it right this second. Uh, probably when we come back, I will have gone ahead and finished this, assuming I can get all of this platinum. Uh, and then, like I said, I'm going to knock out these iron chests too. So that'll be that. And then, uh, yeah, good times. So uh, I'm going to hop into bed here. Uh, lots of cool stuff coming up. Um, I, like I said, I definitely want to work on the, um, the uh, Emmy storage. I'll be doing that, but this Ender IO stuff has got some really cool things that I want to focus on getting. Um, oh, where did it go? This guy right here, this dimensional transceiver. It's like the Tesseract from Attack of the B Team. Uh, the only thing is, of course, being called Ender IO, as you might expect, it requires a lot of Ender Pearls. Of which I currently have none. So we'll have to try and uh, sort that out. Um, these guys are so cool. These Enders. The Ender IO and the Travel Anchor. Travel Anchor works with a staff of traveling. Um, yeah, the Ender. Made out of dark steel. We'll have to start making some of that. Um, oh, dang it. Okay. Crap. I was going to do this, and I completely forgot about it. Let me just tell you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to make a cobbles an automated cobblestone generator. Let's put lava there. Water here. It's going to flow down. It's going to make cobble right there. I'm going to take this junk right here and make... A block breaker. Looks like that. Okay. And then I'm going to use a, a Project Red timer. Made like that. I've made them before. Um, to, uh, to activate it, go click, you know, break it. And then it'll feed it all into this chest because apparently I'm going to need a bajillion tons of dust so but uh cobblestone yeah i throw cobblestone in here and it makes sand with a little bit of gravel then i throw the sand over here and use my hammer to turn it into dust and then i stand up there and i sift for hours and hours and hours and hours or as i did today i get my eight-year-old daughter to come sit here and do it while i make dinner uh, so anyway, that's what I'm going to do here. Sorry, I ran out of time and didn't get a chance to do it on camera. But uh, you want to see what's in these bags, right? I know I do. So let's just clear out all this junk. All this poop. Some of it quite literally poop. All right. I'm going to do it like so. So I can keep track of where everything is. I got three good bags. Crap. Just pure crap. I don't I don't want all this glass. Dang it. Take you two out of there. Ugh. 
Okay. Well, you know, you, you take the good, you take the bad. Take them all, and there you have the packs of life. Uh, oh, more of this stuff. This is good. I am pleased with that. In fact, let me throw... Okay, silver and lead. Silver and lead. Yep, the rest of this I will uh, smelt. So I am okay with that. I need to smelt that stuff too, but I just haven't gotten around to it. And the last of the good bags. More of this junk. Okay. Luckily, I've already got some in there. Okay, now. Greater bags. All right, you're going to be good, right? Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Spare. Spare jetpacks. They don't stack. Spare wings. Good to have. Aha! I need some of these things. I don't need them all scattered out amongst my floor, though. Uh, we'll... We'll, we'll take care of that in a second. Hang on. I'll get them. Don't worry. I want to see what's in these chests. Or bags. Boom. Oh, hearts. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Ah, another one of the village starter kits. Oh, drums. Fuel drum. Lava. Oh, a lava drum? A lava drum with 256 buckets of lava. That's pretty awesome. I like that. Ah, more of this stuff. Very cool. Happy about that. And last but not least. Uh, okay, B stuff. All right. Well, I got to clean all this up, and I've only got a few minutes to do it before it all despawns. So, uh, thank you for joining me, and we will see you next time. Bye.